Hi friends! Today we are going to learn about how to use oil pastels. Um, they look like this. They're kind of like crayons, but they're a lot smoother um, and they are a lot more malleable. So we're going to use those for our next project and I'm going to teach you how. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is grab your oil pastel and peel off any of the wrapper that you think you might need. Um, I like to get about like an inch showing and then I use a piece of scrap paper and kind of rub off that extra like gunk and build up that was was on it because um, it was probably hanging out with some other oil pastels. The first technique that I'm showing you is it's pretty simple just pressing hard so you're gonna use a lot of pressure for this one it's gonna give a nice kind of more flat even look to to it. Sometimes you have to like pull off the extra um, and put it in the trash. And don't throw it on the floor. Second one, also pretty simple, exact opposite of what we just did. A lot of um, light pressure. So going kind of on the slower side, doing more like I would say ghost writing if you were using a pencil, but we're calling this uh, light and kind of crisscrossing, going back the other way. The next technique I'm going to show you is blending, so you'll need two different colors. I chose light blue and regular blue. Um, again, I'm cleaning off that other oil pastel just to get any gunk or other colors that I wasn't expecting. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make a nice smooth transition. Um, so I like to start um, with some light pressure, kind of just what we did before. And as we move forward, we'll start adding more pressure. But I use the dark one, then I add the light one. Um, and I'm going to kind of alternate and go back and forth between them and then adding more pressure over time to get the desired transition or blending look that, I, that I'm going for. So this next technique that we're going to do is tint. You'll want to grab your white uh, oil pastel for that. And we're going to do light pressure with our color blue and then white on top of it. And that'll just lighten it up. If you wanted a super light uh, value, then you're going to do the white first and then add your color on top. So you can see the second time where I'm doing it in the corner, it's even lighter than what's in the middle. Now kind of opposite of what we just did, we're going to do shade, so that means that we're going to add black. So again, light pressure with our color, and then we're going to take black and do, again, light pressure on top. Um, I'm even going lighter as I go across to kind of do a gradient, um, so the one side will be darker. And then I'm going to layer back in that blue on top, pressing harder to blend the black and the blue together. So this one we're kind of even combining two techniques, uh, shade and blending. Okay, our next technique is called color mixing. Um, I sped it up just because it kind of takes a little bit more time and I don't want us to, to sit through all of that. But we are always gonna layer our lighter color first. So I chose two primary colors, yellow and blue. Um, and I layered my yellow down pretty heavy. And then I lightly put a, another layer of blue and I'm kind of alternating between the two. Um, always harder pressure with the lighter color, which is yellow, and then lighter pressure with the darker color, which is blue, and kind of going between the two until I get the, um, the shade of green that I'm looking for, okay? Okay, these next few techniques are definitely the most fun. Stippling involves a lot of short strokes and layering them from light to dark, kind of similar to a few of the other ones. Um, it's great for things that look furry, hairy, um, or grass, anything like that that has a lot of texture. This is a great technique for that. Scumbling is what I call a controlled scribble. 
It's lots of loops and twirls and turns, um, and it's absolutely my favorite technique. I really enjoy doing it. I like the way the colors blend together. I like the way it feels in my hand. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite art techniques of all time. Um, and again, I always start with the light color and then add the darker ones and add uh, less pressure as you move forward. Our last technique is called scruffito. Uh, kind of a funny word, but super fun. Uh, this is definitely student favorite. So we're going to layer down our color with oil pastel. Um, you can actually use crayon or marker or any other coloring way first. Um, so you put your color down and then after that you're going to do a thick layer of black on top. Um, you're going to use a lot of pressure. You're going to use a hard technique for the black. Then you're going to find a scruffito tool, also known as a paper clip. Um, unfold it a little bit so you get the point and then you're going to scratch away the black oil pastel layer. Um, it's almost like you're picking it away to see what's underneath. So in this case it's our blue oil pastel um, but if you had done a different color you would see that. Uh, it's kind of fun. I've seen some students do like a rainbow underneath and then they do the scratch um, of scurfito on top and that can be really fun. All right, that concludes our oil pastel technique video. I hope you enjoyed it.